Here are 30 most commonly asked advanced skull interview questions, along with detailed answers. 1. What is a recursive CT common table expression, and how is it used in skull? Answer. A recursive. CT is used to perform recursive queries, typically dealing with hierarchical data. 2. Explain the purpose of the lag and lead window functions in skull. Answer. Thelag function retrieves the value of a specified expression from the previous row in the result set. The lead function retrieves the value of a specified expression from the next row in the result set. 3. What are window functions, and how do they differ from aggregate functions? Answer. Window functions perform calculations across a specified range of rows related to the current row. Unlike aggregate functions, Window functions do not collapse rows into a single value, but provide a value for each row. 4. Explain the concept of a materialized view in Skull. Answer. A materialized view is a pre-computed, stored snapshot of a query result. It allows for faster query performance by storing the result set and updating it periodically. 5. How can you pivot data in Skull, and when would you use the pivot operator? Answer. The pivot operator is used to transform rows into columns. 6. Discuss the purpose of the skull having clause and when to use it. Answer. The having clause is used in combination with group by to filter grouped rows based on a specified condition. It is used when conditions cannot be placed in the where clause due to aggregate functions. 7. How do you perform conditional aggregations in skull? Answer, use a case statement within an aggregate function or in combination with group by. 8. Explain the purpose of the skull cross-apply operator. Answer, cross-apply is used to invoke a table-valued function for each row returned by the outer table expression. It can be an alternative to the inner join and can provide more flexibility. 9. What are window frames and how do they affect window functions? Answer. A window frame is a subset of the result set defined by the over clause in window functions. It specifies the range of rows relative to the current row that the window function operates on. 10. Discuss the differences between a correlated and a non-correlated subquery. Answer. A non-correlated subquery is independent of the outer query and can be executed on its own. A correlated subquery depends on the outer query and its result is influenced by the values in the outer query. 11. What is the purpose of the skull row number function, and how is it used? Answer. Row number assigns a unique sequential integer to each row within a partition of a result set. Example, scale select row number over order by salary desk as ronum, a wee name from employees. 12. How do you implement a full outer join in skull? Answer. You see full outer join to retrieve all rows when there is a match in either the left or right table. Example, scale select from table 1 full outer join table 2 on table 1 ID equals equals table 2 ID. 13. Explain the purpose of the skull string ag function. Answer, string ag concatenates values from a column into a single string with a specified delimiter. Example, Scale select department string ag employee name as employee list from employees group by department. 14. How can you handle hierarchical data in Skull, and when would you use recursive queries? Answer. Use recursive queries or common table expressions CTEs to handle hierarchical data. 15. What is the purpose of the Skull ZML data type, and how is it used? Answer. Thexmal data type is used to store ZML documents in Skull Server. It allows for ZML data validation, indexing, and querying using ZML-specific functions. 16. Explain the concept of window functions in Skull and provide examples. Answer. Window functions operate on a specified range of rows related to the current row. Example using row number, select employee, salary row number, over partition by department, order by salary desk, as rank from employees. 17. How do you optimize a query with multiple join operations for performance? Answer. Ensure 11 columns are properly indexed.
consider denormalization to reduce join complexity for frequently queried data. Optimize the query using tools like explain or query execution plans. 18. Discuss the purpose of the skull merge statement and provide an example. Answer. The merge statement performs insert, update, or delete operations on a target table based on the results of a join with a source table. 19. How do you implement a sparse matrix in Skull? Answer. Use a combination of rows and columns to represent the matrix. Implementing it efficiently involves minimizing storage for zero values. 20. Explain the purpose of the Skull for ZML path clause and provide an example. Answer. The for ZML path clause concatenates row values into ZML elements. Example. Select department. Ample we name from employees for ZML path department. Root employees. 21. What are window frames, and how do they affect window functions? Answer. A window frame is a subset of the result set defined by the over clause in window functions. It specifies the range of rows relative to the current row that the window function operates on. 22. Discuss the purpose of the skull CT common table expression. Answer. Acti common table expression is a temporary result set that can be referred to within select, insert, update, or delete statements. It simplifies complex queries and makes them more readable. 23. How do you use the skull lateral join? Answer. The lateral join is used to reference columns from previous tables in the from clause. It is often used with table valued functions. 24. Explain the purpose of the skull lead and lag functions. Answer. The lead function retrieves the value of a specified expression from the next row in the result set. The lag function retrieves the value of a specified expression from the previous row in the result set. 25. How can you handle errors in a skull stored procedure without using try catch? Answer. You see the add at error system variable to check for errors after each statement within the stored procedure. 26. Discuss the benefits and limitations of using Skull Server's query store. Answer. The query store captures query performance information over time, aiding in identifying and resolving performance issues. Limitations include potential overhead and space consumption. 27. How do you implement partitioning in skull tables, and what benefits does it provide? Answer. Partition engine vols dividing large tables into smaller, more manageable pieces. Benefits include improved query performance, ease of maintenance, and efficient data archiving. 28. Explain the purpose of the skull intersect and accept operators. Answer. The intersect operator returns common rows between two select statements. The accept operator returns distinct rows from the first select statement, but not from the second. 29. How can you use the skull coalesce function, and what does it accomplish? Answer. The coalesce function returns the first non-null expression among its arguments. It is used to handle null values in a concise manner. 30. Discuss the impact of indexing on query performance and considerations for index selection. Answer. Proper indexing improves query performance by reducing the number of rows to scan. Considerations include the type of queries, the frequency of updates, and the size of the indexed columns. These advanced skull interview questions cover a range of topics, including window functions, optimization strategies, and specialized skull features. Adapt the responses based on the specific database system used in your organization. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. 
It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.